Hey everybody, Dave Soft from Vapor there. Come on, come on in, come on, sit down, get your shoes off. That's it, get relaxed. Today we're looking at a starter kit. But well, not a starter kit for the uh, mouth to lungers, a sub home starter kit. So anybody who's coming off mouth to lung and wanting to start sub homing, this is what we've got for you. Today we've got this thing. Yes, the 88 Vape 50 watt starter kit. And uh, as you can see, it's very, very tall. So, without further ado, let's head on down to that table, come and have a look round it. See you down there. Hi guys, so here we are, we're down on the table cam, and we're looking at the 88 Vapes mod, the 50 watt sub ohm starter kit. Um, you will probably know the 88 Vapes from previous juice reviews that I've done um, the 88 vape line which of course is what this is all about let's uh, put that down so on the box we've got 88 vape mod 50 watts and it comes with a 0 0.5 ohm coil uh, in the sub tank it's 1600 mAh battery and it has a micro USB charger well, as actually a USB cable for charging uh, sub ohm mod then you've got the usual stuff we have on the front about nicotine highly addictive uh, H8 vape mod on the side nothing on the other side and on the back we've got how to fill the tank and uh, a few other bits and pieces because there's no manual with this um, obviously and we've also got their line of the uh, the uh, mod juice um, this stuff that we have so let's get it open we've got a serial number and what have you uh, it's cheap and cheerful but starter kit not for somebody coming off six definitely not um, also there's a few failings with this it's a bit bit old tech so let's get into the box and have a look at it right, so we open the box up and get my finger underneath pull it out throw that over there as you can see it's very very tall very tall very small uh, USB charge cable with it no spare coil big failure no spare coil uh, coils for this you can only get from their site as well and um, every time I've looked they've been out of stock which is another big fail unfortunately but this is absolutely huge if we can get it out of here and I will do and throw that over there for now there's no manual to go through everything's on the back of the box um, H8 bits look at the size of that it's huge and also it doesn't have an AFC on the side and you can adjust it from one hole up to three holes another big fail on this it's a bottom filled tank so let's uh, oh the only good thing about it it's got a 510 uh, drip tip that you can actually remove so let's undo this right. so we've got some um, air fed channels there and uh, it's not an air fed tank <laughs> through the 510 because we've got an air adjustment there to get into it we have to undo the bottom big fail old technology bottom fill uh, there's your coil and if I can just undo it there's your coil we've got a pretty standardized coil there um, very small bore if I bring that up very small bore um, and it's filled down the side no top fill big big fail let's just bob that on there for a minute plenty of o-rings on it of course and the o-ring seems to be decent um, tell you what we'll do we'll give this a fill and we'll, give, and we'll start out the uh, can you hear that we'll give that a fill oh I've got pink lemonade out already might have one of these out actually I've got one of them out so we'll get we'll use a pink lemonade and uh, we'll prime the, the coil first but as I say big fail old technology bottom fill tank few drops down the middle of there 
and there's some really tiny pinhole uh, feeds for it so there we go there we go and one more there we go and that's it that's it for the uh, the coil now this is what what gets me because it's a sub ohm um, tank basically and a sub ohm kit and yet we've got to do what we used to do um, with the CE4s basically and the fill down the side not good not good so let's get this filled up as far as we can bit of a fail that you can't really break this tank down either for cleaning another fail and it is not good to fill not good to fill that'll do for now let's pop that back in on top let's get that and as you can see I mean we're talking on the ATVG juicer uh, with them tiny little holes that's gonna have to sit for 10 to 15 minutes um, let's pop it back on there no let's not pop it back on there because I'll probably fire it and burn the, burn the one coil that comes with it <coughs> so we've got the battery and the battery is fairly large there's your USB port for charging it's five clicks on one two three four five there we go and some fires shows you and five clicks off should be five clicks off if it ever wants to do it there we go um, not a lot to this of course you got your CE marks you got double vape in a bin and uh, the mad of the battery it's quite a light battery but it is extremely large let me just see whether I can find something to, yeah yes this will do there we go here we go look at that we've got uh, the Joytech Exceed there with the tank on and it's nearly as big as the Exceed with the tank on of course it's a lot slimmer um, it's 1500 mile that's 1600 mile but look at that it's absolutely huge it's huge let's get that on there and we'll leave that there for now guys because there's not a lot to this of course it's a nice little start kit I should say it's a start kit I'm not going to say it's nice uh, it's absolutely huge I've got to get something else to compare that to just hold on a minute guys and it's a bit wobbly as well to tell you the truth um, let's see what have I got yeah there I have I've got it in the cupboard Old Faithful Inican T18 and look at that look at the size of it compared to the T18 okay. absolutely huge cheap and cheerful well it's cheap I don't know about cheerful but uh, look at the size of that in comparison all faithful and what's being sold from 88 vapes I think they need to uh, redesign a few of their their things and uh, bring them out uh, an updated starter kit for some old man for the uh, beginner vapors uh, mouth to lungers not overly impressed with that I must admit so uh, let's stop it there and we'll uh, give it a few minutes and then we'll take it for the two right guys I'm back uh, with this 88 vape sub ohm starter kit um, having not been able to get hold of uh, spare coils for it of course this is the first time I'm going to be using it uh, I've tried for three months to get the coils but they've always been out of stock which is not a good point so uh, 
this has not been tested like I'd normally test anything else and use the coils up and use a few of the coils uh, because I haven't been able to get hold of any so the one coil that's in this of course is the one that come with it so uh, let's open the airflow wide open wide open come on where are we going that way and I've got greasy hands now I've just had a pork pie sorry <laughs> and we're on the free holes so we're wide open let's go take it for its first blast initially the taste isn't bad actually it's uh their pink lemonade and it's uh it's not too bad bit airy of course on that very very airy let's close the hole down let's take it down to two holes if it'll let me. Oh, the AFC is not very easy to use. There we go. Now it's sliding. We're down to two holes. Let's take it to two hole two. Actually, to tell you the truth, the taste from that uh, that coil is not too bad, but for such a small bore coil, um, it's still very airy. Let's have another two on that. Yeah, it's not bad. The taste is not bad actually from it. Um, let's take it down to one hole. Let's see how we go on. Right, we're down at uh, one hole open on the AFC. Let's see what it tastes like now. Down even to one hole. It's a uh, Still a long gator. Even with that small ball, uh, ball coil, small ball, <laughs> small ball. Let's try and get this to halfway. Halfway on one. Right, I've cut it down as far as I can. Let's see what it's like. Half an hole open, and it's still a restrictive long get. Um, so I'll do a restrictive lung it. Of course, you're never going to get. Uh, that's obviously that's the same on each side. By the way, um, you're never going to get a fully uh, mouth to lung from this because it's a sub ohm kit. Um, but what can I say? It works. Taste isn't too bad height and size of it is far too big for today's technology and for uh, somebody who wants to have a go at a bit of sub that's coming off the mouth to lung it's far too big anyway guys let's uh, let's go up top and give it a few more tips and uh, see what I think about it and um, you probably know what I think about it by mid zone and uh, I'll see you up there guys Hi guys, we're back up from the table cam looking at uh, the H8 Vape sub ohm starter kit very very large a few more things about it it, uh, it runs at 30 watt, 40 watt and 50 watt so when you press it on five, for 5 clicks uh, and it's come on, if you press it 3 times if I can get this into focus at red that denotes 30 watt Just three times again and that supposedly was the mixed colour if it's a mixed colour it's 40 watt and basically the mixed colour is two little red LEDs and the rest of it's green and you press it again three times and it lights green altogether that's at 50 watt As you can see, there's plenty of vapour. It's all technology in all this, it really is. With the um, bottom fill tank for starts, big no no. The coil surprised me because the coil works really, really well. And the taste from it is, is quite good, quite good indeed. Um, because it's slim and it's tall, a bit of breeze knocks it over. 
it's uh, unstable. So if I if I was 88 vape, I'd be looking at shortening the battery size and widening it so it's got a bigger footprint, so it can uh, stand up more stable than it is now. Uh, I'd also get rid of the bottom fill, definitely make a top fill tank for it. The coil itself is is perfectly fine, and um, it works really well. And the taste from it is really really good. It really surprised I'm going to have two actually. For its price it's not bad but it is old technology, it's too large, it falls over with the least, you know, you walk past it, it falls over, it's one of them ones, you know, house of cards, well, don't, and it takes everything down with it. Um, overall, it's not bad, it's not bad, but it's old technology and they need to modernise it, as I say, shorten the battery, make it wider, give it a bigger footprint, better tank on top. And uh, they might attract it. There's loads and loads of sub ohm sticks out there that work brilliantly. There's the smock ones. In fact, the XC that I compared it to, uh, which comes with a mouth to lung coil and a sub ohm coil, smaller, bigger footprint, <coughs> and it's only 19 mils wide. And it's a much better um, kit than this, to tell you the truth. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on this. You know, if you're going to start suburbing this maybe not look at something else anyway guys if you like what you've seen give us a thumbs up you know hit that subscribe button give it a share and guys i'll see you on the next one. Oh, by the way this should come out on the uh, 2nd of january and of course that means that the channel's uh five month old today so i'll see you down there and see you back when i come back i don't know what down there was all about but i'll see you when i come back and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.